Robots. Being a human isn't always easy, but it's way less complicated than building a human. Lots of things that are simple for people are really hard to teach robots. Humans can navigate a room pretty easily, but when you break that task down, uh, you've got to perceive and make sense of your environment, form a plan, put yourself into motion, and account for unforeseen obstacles, you see how it's tricky to program into a robot. Stereoscopic cameras or laser scanners can act as eyes, but the bigger challenge is getting the bot to make good decisions via SLAM, that's simultaneous location and mapping which means continuously creating and updating a map that includes its own position. Getting a robot to move around without crashing into stuff is hard, but it's even harder to have a robot interact purposefully with specific stuff. Humans are dexterous. Our vision, skin, nerves, and musculoskeletal systems let us immediately determine how to reach a given object and pick it up based on its shape and squishitude. Hardware is key here. To interact with varying objects, robots need physical flexibility, aka compliance. Things like spring joints, pressure-sensitive contact surfaces, infrared sensors, and pliable skin. Just understanding us, let alone holding a conversation, is a challenge in robotics. No two speakers use the same phrasing, vocab, or dialect. A single idea can be expressed thousands of ways, so it's proven mildly impossible to create rules that let robots process natural language. That's normal human speech. Statistical analysis helps. Uh, you can feed a robot a massive collection of text, aka a corpus, and have it analyze what words often come together and in what order. Thus, the bot learns context, like bay versus bay. That's a visual joke. The fine art of deception helps animals best competitors and predators, and that goes for humans too, like in sports or high-stakes business. But deception requires imagination. Robots are aces at processing input and creating statistical models, but not so great at forming ideas outside of that existing data. But a team at Georgia Tech is working on it with help from squirrels. Squirrels protect their food by leading competitors to old, empty caches. The team coded those behaviors into simple rules, aka algorithms, that robots could use to determine when to send out false data to lead another bot astray. Now, whether you want robots to know how to be deceptive, that's another question entirely. But here's a question for you. What do you want to teach robots how to do? Let me know in the comments. And hey, if you liked this video, make it official and subscribe so that you won't miss the next one. And to learn more, uh, like how future robots might act ethically and parse emotions, check out our article, The 10 Hardest Things to Teach a Robot, on HowStuffWorks.com.